Luke, say hello to the people. Missing <laughs> some <laughs> Guys, uh, first of all, I want to say thank you. Post-gym look right now. Um, I want to say thank you so much to you guys for all of your love, your support, your kind words on last week's video. Um, my comeback to YouTube it feels so good. I've honestly just been so full of energy, so full of life. Um, and I hope that the things that I shared in that video um, were helpful for you if you're in a place in your life that feels like a rainy season. Um, I hope that some of the content and the value that I shared are things that can be applicable for you and actual, actually action steps that you can apply um, to help maybe pull yourself out of that rainy season. But what I do promise you is that the sunshine always comes out after the rain, my friends. I just got done at the gym. I didn't bring my camera with me because, <laughs> alas, it was dead again. Um, <laughs> I know, I'm the queen. Um, we're gonna make sure I have three batteries now. I ordered more batteries. I'm gonna make sure I always have one charged. So I did not bring my camera to the gym. However, um, I'm gonna put the workout that I did in the description box. So make sure you screenshot that. It was a back day um, and a cardio day. So I'll put the full workout in the description box. Um, if you want a back workout, go do it. Uh, I am off to a coffee shop to meet up with some girlfriends. I actually um, met a friend at the gym this morning and then we're meeting back up with a couple other friends um, at a coffee shop, just a grind day, a work day, um, but with good company, nothing better. It's nothing better than that. I will touch base with you guys once I get set up at the coffee shop. You know, I've struggled with the idea of <laughs> vlogging recently because my business is, is everything to me and people don't realize that it's not really glamorous. Like I literally spend the entire day on the computer. So I'm like, what, what am I gonna vlog? Like here's me typing again. <laughs> so I don't know, I'll try and keep it interesting for you guys. Um, I know that you all have said that you're still very interested in my vlogs, which makes me so happy. Um, Cause I love vlogging, I love it. So um, maybe I just need to like, I don't know, dance. I actually do dance. I always break up my work day with dancing. So next time I dance, I will turn on the camera. I'm not a good dancer, I just, I just like to do it. Um, and if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I do my daily dance party. So you should do it too and hashtag daily dance party and tag me in it and we can all have a dance party together. I'm gonna go pack up my bag with my laptop. Um, I'll bring some snacks and some meals to the coffee shop too, so I'll show you guys what I'm eating, uh, and I'll see you guys there. Real quickly, show you guys what I'm wearing. I'm honestly not changing from the gym. These are both from the new Alphalete launch. These are the Meridian leggings. I'm literally obsessed with them. They have a pocket on both sides. Um, and then this is just the um, crop top from their new launch too. It's like this most softest, just, oh, I'm obsessed. And this is not sponsored. I bought these clothes with my own money. <laughs> um, just honest opinion, you guys, I'm obsessed. Like I, I regret not buying these leggings in every single color. The only um, thing that I wish I would have done is maybe got an extra small. They are a little, um, a little big, but other than that, I'm literally obsessed. Right, Luke? We're obsessed. Show me your close up, Bubba. Alright, you guys. Life truly is better when you're buzzed. Um, all I have here is a half-calf Americano because I already had pre-workout and a splash of almond milk and I'm here with some beautiful ladies. Here with some beautiful ladies. I mean, work doesn't get better than this. <laughs> all right, you guys, I'm home from the coffee shop and literally all that I did was put on this like little sloungy sweater thing. It's from Fashion Nova and some slippers. The reason that I came home um, was because I have client phone calls all the way from two o'clock until 8 p.m. Um, I'm enrolling some new clients in my Mind Body Life program, and so I'm 
so excited. These are my favorite calls, talking to potential clients, seeing what they're all about, what their challenges are, and if and how I can help them. So I absolutely love this. Um, and then I have some current client check-in calls. I do weekly phone calls with my check-in gals too. Um, I mean gals that I'm already working with. So busy, busy day of calls and didn't want to be at a coffee shop for that because I like to be distraction free. Um, I know I said I was going to tell you guys what I was eating, um, but just got into some really good conversation with the girls that I met up with at the coffee shop which is kind of another story for another day, or maybe, I don't know, I can tell you a snippet of it now, but if you reference back to my last video, I talked a lot about um, the mental health struggles that I was going through. Hold on, I'm gonna set this up on my, there we go. Hi. I talked a lot about the mental health struggles that I was going through and really how I put my place myself in this place of isolation, and I just really didn't have the, physical energy, the emotional energy, or the mental energy to invest in connection and friendships and relationships when in actuality that was really everything that I needed. I described depression today to one of the girls that I met with and I said that I felt like I was in a dark room with a broken light switch and nothing I could do, no tools that I had were repairing that switch. Um, that's really what it felt like in the depths of it. Um, and you know now, like if you watch my last video, you know I'm in this place where my switch, praise God, has been fixed. Um, and it took time. And like I said, go please go watch that last video if you have not watched it. If you're in this place, show yourself some grace. This did not happen for me overnight, but um, getting to the point that I was talking about, the girls that I met with are girls that have just literally recently come into my life in the last one and two weeks and immediately just feeling like a soul connection with them. Um, I sat down with one of the girls after the majority of them left and just had one of the most profound, potentially life-changing conversations of my life. And I literally just met her that day, like literally just met her two hours ago, three hours ago. Um, and it just goes to show, like, don't even tell me that God doesn't send messengers in the form of incredible human beings. Um, so I, I really do truly feel like I'm, I've am i met some soul sisters here and it's such a fulfilling feeling. Um, it's hard when you're going through a struggle, you feel very isolated, you feel like you're alone, but I promise you, you're not alone. You know, we were all kind of just chatting about the different things that we're going through and or have gone through. Um, lots of us have sort of just different like relationship things that we've gone through or are currently going through. And you know, these are all women that you probably might follow on social media. And you know, like we have, great lives. I'm not saying that. Like, I'm very blessed and um, it just goes to show that depression doesn't pick and choose whether you have a great life or not. And that's why another reason why it was so hard for me to reach out to people too because unless you've been through it yourself, it, it really is truly hard to explain it to some people, to most people. Um, they just think you're sad <laughs> and that's truly not it at all. Um, if depression was just sadness, it would be a lot easier to overcome, but I'm here talking to you and letting you know that it, you know, it, I've overcome. Um, I'm not here to say that it's gone forever and that I'll never experience it again. Um, but I think resilience and breakthrough is absolutely possible. Uh, that went off on a tangent, but I, I hope that it was helpful for some of you watching uh but anyway i know i said that i told you guys what i was going to eat um so far it is three o'clock and all i've had so far is an rx bar i broke my fast around 1 30. um i do intermittent fasting it has changed my life um if you guys are interested in a video on that um i would love to do one just because of all of the incredible benefits it's brought into my life um so i broke my fast around 1 30. um i brought an rx bar with me to the coffee shop and right now i am cooking some um fish and some asparagus and some sweet potato uh so that should be done in about 15 minutes i'm going to eat and jump on my calls for the rest of the day so i don't know if you guys want to like watch me on the computer or on phone calls but if something amazing happens or if i have some weird just visualization of something i need to share with you i'm 
gonna do it. I hope you guys are having an amazing day today. I really do. I love you guys. What's up guys? It is 7.30. I just wrapped up my last client phone call for the night. It was with a potential client. She was such a great fit. Accepted her into the program. So excited. Welcome, Christine. Shout out if you're watching. Um, Luke wants to say what's up. Uh, but I've literally been on calls all day, but I want to show you guys what I am eating for dinner. This will be my last meal of the night. Um, I already started eating it, and then I was like, oh, I should film. So it's not aesthetic anymore. It was. Um, it is salmon that is seasoned with garlic powder, onion powder, Himalayan pink salt, uh, some basil, and I cooked that in the air fryer. It is on top of a bed of white jasmine rice. And then I made some zucchini chips also in the air fryer. Guys, get an air fryer. Like, if you leave this video with anything, it's get an air fryer. <laughs> so good. Um, I'm starving, so excited. And then in an hour, I have um, a massage, Soothe. I use the Soothe app, and I get all my massages in-house. Luke, are you excited? Yes, you are.